All right, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to another video. And today, what I have for everyone is something I feel is pretty special. But before we dive into the video, I have to say this. The following video is brought to you guys and gals thanks in large part to the Amazon Vine program. But all the opinions and thoughts that you are going to hear are 100% my own and were not influenced in any way, shape, form, or fashion because, as always, I reserve the right to keep it straight 100 with you guys and gals. So without further ado, let's spin the cameras around and let's get into today's video. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back. I'll see y'all in a little bit. that real quick feature rundown real quick unboxing and showcase of the sound Pete's mini pro hs truly wireless bluetooth earbuds now in this portion of the video i'm going to get into my first impressions so i'm going to try on the buds i'm going to let y'all know how i feel about the overall fit and feel and then we're going to wrap the video up. Now, jumping into the first impressions with the earbuds, I have to say, I do like the size of these buds. Just looking at them, uh, taking them out of the packaging, 
charging them up and you know putting them back in the case I do feel as though the case itself is very pocketable right and the buds themselves are very tiny yet manageable right now before we get into my first impressions and I try them on, I want to let everyone know why these earbuds caught my eye, why when I saw them on the catalog for the Amazon Vine program, I requested that Amazon send them out for review. All right? Number one, Sound Pete's is really, really growing on me. Now, I have reviewed a lot of Sound Pete's products in the past. But they're really, really growing on me as a brand, and I almost always have had a really great experience with that. So when I saw another product come down for review from Sound Pete's, I figured, why not? Okay, why not? Also, when I saw that these bad boys supposedly have uh, six microphones built into them, Three microphones on each earbud for crystal clear phone calls and really solid microphone performance. I was like, oh, okay, okay. And then when I saw that these bad boys can get up to eight hours on a single charge and about 28 hours including the charging case, I was like, that's what the manufacturer's usage. Now, with my usage, I might be able to squeeze an additional two hours out of these. Meaning that I may, may be able to potentially get 10 hours on a single charge out of these, right? So when I saw that stat and I thought to myself, I can squeeze an extra two hours out of these, maybe. I was like, okay, this is getting more and more interesting as I was reading through the spec sheet, right? And then when I saw the estimated price, I was like, wow, for the price, these might be very, very compelling. And then when I saw that these are also supported by a companion application and they're actually going to have a lot more features built into them with the application versus the other sound piece product that I looked at, I was like, okay, yeah, go ahead, Amazon. Go ahead and send them down. I'll review them. So my interest was thoroughly piqued. As I was looking through the spec sheet, as I was verifying some stuff that I would like to see from Truly Wireless Earbuds, and then I saw the price and the features with the companion application and some of the other dedicated features, and I was like, oh yes. Now, I do want to let everyone know some concerns that gave me uh, cause to pause. Now, I noticed that in the user manual on their website from sound piece directly the battery life is a little different okay from sound piece directly it stated that the earbuds would give you about seven hours on a single charge right and then 21 hours including the charging case whereas on amazon on their storefront for the product it stated that the earbuds will give you eight hours on a single charge and then 20 additional hours, including the charging case. I was like, wait a minute, something's not right here. But then I thought to myself, let me just wait till I get the product in hand. And then also on the box, it said the same thing as the Amazon storefront. So on the box, it said the earbuds should give you eight hours on the single charge and about uh, 20 hours, including the charging case. So, I had to do the math here, right? The book and user manual was saying that you get about 21 hours or the charging case will give you about 2.5 additional charges, all right? Whereas on the, on the storefront and on the box, it was saying uh, 8 hours with 20 additional hours or... 3.5 additional charges, including the charging case. And then it said, uh, depending on the mode that you use the earbuds in, your battery life may vary from as low as four and a half hours on a single charge to as high as eight hours. All right. So whether you're using them with the LDAC high, 
high quality modes, whether you're using them with transparency mode or whether you're using them in normal mode, uh, your battery life may vary, right? And the charging case should get you about two and a half to three and a half additional charges. After gathering all the information and then doing the math, then the math made sense because doing the math with the information that I got from the user manual and from Soundpeace website, it wasn't adding up. But then looking at the storefront and the math on the box, it was adding up. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to report everything to everybody and I'm going to put it through my testing and see how it really pans out. But that really gave me cause to pause. I was like, well, you know, I don't like how these numbers aren't adding up. But then again, I thought to myself, these are manufacturer's estimates. When they put these things to the test, they did it in what they would consider to be almost ideal environments. Or maybe they didn't test it and they just took the estimates from the battery built into the buds and the estimates built into the case and was like, okay, it should get this and it should get this. All right? So maybe they didn't test it. But I just thought I should report everything to everybody and then put these through my review process and let y'all know how it all pans out. So that's what I decided to do. And I just wanted to share all of that with you guys and gals here in the unboxing and first impressions. Now, let's get into trying them on. Let's get into the overall first impressions of the fit and the feel. Let's get into taking the profiles. And then let's get into wrapping this video up. So, all I've really done with these earbuds is charge up the case to 100% and charge up the buds to 100%. Then I put them back in the box and I started recording this video. So let's go ahead and try them on. Now, this is the right earbud. It's labeled right in here. It's very small, but there's an R right here. I don't know how well my camera is going to pick it up. But this is the right earbud. And looking at the logo, it's supposed to go in my ear like this. So it's supposed to rest in my ear like that. So let's put the right earbud in. Oh, boy. That went right in there. Okay, and then here we have the left earbud right here. And again, based on how the logo is oriented and then based on how this is labeled here, so you can see a small L right there. I don't know how visible that is. Again, I don't know how well my camera is picking that up. But there's a small L right here. Based on the orientation of the logo, it goes in the air just like this. So let's put the left in. Okay, and that also went right in. Okay, and I can barely hear myself talk right now. And this is actually a very solid fit. Let's do a quick shake test. Okay, so it's not coming out of my ear at all. Okay, we didn't really get any movement. So I think I might be able to stick with the earbud tips that come on the earbuds out of the box. But it does come with the... Uh, the mediums and the smalls. So I do believe these are the large tips that come on by default, but y'all should always try out the tips and find the best fit for yourself because that's going to determine the overall comfort and fit. That's going to also determine the overall sound quality, volume, and the bass, which ideally those two things will almost always determine how good or bad your experience is with a pair of earbuds. So I always recommend you take the time to go through the included earbud tips that come in the box and find the best fit for yourself. But I think I might go ahead and just stick with the larges that come on the earbuds. This looks like it's the best fit for me. Now, let me take a picture of the profiles. We got the iPhone 11 on deck here today. So let's fire this up. Okay, let's do a quick front profile. Oh, wow, you can barely tell I have these in. Okay, do a quick front profile. Okay, do a quick side profile for one side. And let's do the other side. Okay, let me see, let me see. All right, so checking out one side, uh, that's not bad. Checking out the other side, that's not bad either. 
And then checking out the front. That's also not bad. Okay, let me, let me show y'all what we're working with here. So here is the front profile. And you can see it's sticking out the side of my ears ever so slightly. But you can almost not notice that. Maybe a little bit. But that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And then here's one side. That's also not bad. And then here's the other side. That's a little bit of a bad angle there, but that's not bad either. Basically, it looks like this on both sides. And again, that's how much it sticks out of my ear right there. Not bad, not bad at all. But there's a quick shot of the profiles there. Let's get out of that. And now let's see how easy they are to take out because that's also important. Okay, and it comes right out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So... First impressions of the overall fit and feel with the Soundpeats Mini Pro HS Truly Wireless Earbuds, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright? No issues there with the overall fit. No issues with the overall feel. I think I'm really going to enjoy these. And if I can get the battery life to pan out the way I think I'm going to be able to, this should be an overall really enjoyable experience. So, guys and gals, that pretty much does it for this unboxing and first impressions of the Soundpeats Mini Pro HS Truly Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds. Now, you guys and gals, stay tuned for my continued coverage on these earbuds, and I will drop that coverage as soon as possible. Now, I also want to point out, as I always do with Vine uh, products, the written review will be published and live on Amazon well before all of my video coverage is published and live on YouTube. So if you see the written review go live on Amazon and you follow me on Amazon, then that should be a precursor to letting y'all know that the video coverage is well on the way. But being as I am a v Amazon Vine member, it's only right that I do the written review stuff first before I do my video reviews on YouTube here. So I just wanna always make sure I point that out just so no one is caught by surprise, all right? All right. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope everyone found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Please help your boy out by giving the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you would like to see more content like this, also feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And please make sure you click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. Also feel free to follow me across all the social medias. I'll link up all my social media profiles down below. This way you're guaranteed to get notified when I publish new videos. I do try my best to publish my videos across all the social media platforms. But I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. It has been a struggle lately, okay? It has been a struggle. Although I enjoy making video content and I enjoy helping people, the uh, rigorousness of publishing and then promoting is really getting to me. So although I like the creating process and I like helping people, the publishing and promoting part, ah, that's, that's not my favorite. So... I will try my best to publish this and promote this across all my social media platforms, but I really don't know. I'm going to try, though, but I really don't know, all right? But if you want to make sure you know when the video coverage goes live on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and um, at the most, I will uh, publish and promote on Instagram, so at least the least you want to do is follow me on Instagram so you know when new videos or completed coverage go live, okay? That being said, if this video piqued your interest and you would like to know where, you can pick up this product at some really great prices. All the links to where y'all can pick up these products or this product at some really great prices will be linked up down below in the video description along with all of my extended coverage as it becomes available. And down below in the video description will contain affiliated buy links. 
And as the name implies, when you use those links, I do get a small percentage of kickback that I do put back into the channel at no additional cost to you guys and gals. So in my opinion, that makes those affiliated links down below in the video description a win-win for everyone, okay? This whole video here today has been recorded with the primary camera on the Samsung Galaxy S10e in 720p at 30fps at 30 FPS with no external microphone hooked up. And I am using my professional studio lights here today. So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality, what you think of the overall lighting, and what you think of the whole process in general. Please leave your feedback down below. As always, all feedback is greatly appreciated. Guys and gals, just remember to keep it respectful, please. All right? Hope everyone is having a great day. Hope you guys and gals are staying safe out there. And I will catch everyone in the next one. We are out of here. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.